I'm Trixie from the Philippines. I'm a recent PhD graduate of the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering. I am currently a postdoctoral fellow under the same department, the CBE department, as well as one of the lab managers of the Joint Laboratory of Innovative Environmental Health Technologies. Um, my research life encompasses a, a broad spectrum, so I would um, do dry lab like simulation. So I have here a, a photo of, of one of my uh, of the results of my electric field simulations. And at the same time, I will also need to do. I will be, I'm required to do some wet lab wherein um, I try to kill bacteria using electric field pulses in tap water because um, right now our water our waters are infected with antibiotic resistant bacteria and we found out that through this mechanism killing them with pulses it doesn't um, uh, it, it doesn't allow them to to adapt to the killing mechanism as uh, compared to if you kill them using chlorine uh, and so um, I have to count plates bacteria uh, bacteria colonies of, of e coli hundreds and hundreds of them um, every every week and um, as well as um, do the prototyping, so designing um, some prototypes and presenting them as well. And um, it also, in my research life also entails me to do um, some manual work, like um, washing the glassware every day after all my experiments, and at the same time, um, fixing leaks in the lab. And so, yeah, so I get to wear many hats and experience a lot of these. It stretches my capacity and my, my capabilities and I really enjoy it. Um, and I belong to this research group. It's a very um, diverse, it's a large, uh, relatively large group. Uh, and it's a multidisciplinary group come, um, wherein my lab mates come from different backgrounds. So not, uh, not everyone is from the engineering background. Some are from science, from the, from chemistry, um, from Mechatronics. We have also medical doctors in our in our group. So that's me. Uh, so this is uh, the, one of the first photos um, that we took when I entered HKUSD. And uh, if you notice, so my lab mates are really um, very hardworking, but we also know how to play hard. Um, so work hard, play hard, and um, what the pre-pandemic we like to go out, have some, do some hiking, and then. Um, we would visit our, um, the, so this is a photo in one of the dormitories. So we, we have this, uh, so it's a, there's a common room in your flat. Okay. So we would, some of us would cook and then we could visit um, our lab mates in their flats, in their dormitory flats. And uh, yeah, um, in my case, so I have a life outside the, outside the lab, literally outside the lab, like uh, a few elevator rides down my lab would be the lab of one of my friends in the marine science lab so i would usually visit him and be stressed by looking at the sea creatures there in his lab and on weekends i would sometimes volunteer um, in our church to speak to the, some ladies and um, pre-pandemic uh, we enjoy um, organizing parties and baking with um, some of my friends and i re um, recent quite recently because i realized uh, uh, I thought that if I can, if I can deal with um, metals on the nano scale, I should be able to deal with metals on the macro scale. So I've been into um, creating rings. Okay, so here's uh, here am I uh, handling a blowtorch. Okay, and trying to um, soften the the metal so that I can fashion it into a ring. And what I really like about um, Hong Kong, as you can see uh, with the uh, my, my hiking photos is that there are a lot of hiking spots that are so beautiful with really fantastic views and they are reachable with just a, 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 a they're just a bus ride away from from the campus all right and um so i'll go back to um, some reasons why uh, some highlights of my phd journey here in hkusd so um, when I, I mean during my first year so this is um, one of the first photos that I took in Hong Kong when I arrived. Um, I was assigned in the flat wherein all of my flatmates came from um, different countries. So it's a testimony of what how um, diverse the HKUS, HKUSD community is. And uh, also through HKUSD's lineages, I was 
able to attend events hosted by international organizations, as well as meet and learn from distinguished professors um, coming from uh, um, distinguished universities um, abroad. And um, through the linkage of HKUST with um, universities in the US, in Europe, etc., um, I was able to go to, uh, to attend um, the Idea League Summer School, which was hosted by Etihad Zurich in Switzerland. And that's, not sh that's just a few of the experiences that I was able to go through during my PhD journey. Um, HKUST is also concerned about, concerned about holistic development. So um, I am forever grateful for HKUST for giving me opportunities to, to practice my soft skills. That is networking, speaking, um, public speaking. And um, through that, uh, it actually helps you because um, in once once you go out to the outside world you need to deal with different types of people and it's good if you are able to converse and carry out the conversation well and at the same time um, explain your research um and, uh, such that they would be able to understand you know what you're doing even if you don't have an engineering background and um uh, another thing that i would like to highlight is that HUSD is very active in linking um, the app, uh, linking with um, the local communities that is um, being able to apply what we have discovered in the lab or what we have um, um, concurred in the lab into the actual setting. So we have um, linkages with the local with local hospitals and the elderly home. So in my case, um, the prototypes that I am able to create in the lab, I'm able to bring them to the elderly homes and test them. And we have a, a lot of projects like these, Center for Aging Initiative um, project. And alongside, um, because of these linkages, I get to also um, star in some info videos for the for our um, joint laboratory. And uh, yes, and for if there are Filipinos who are watching or joining us right now, um, there's a vibrant HKUSC Filipino community, and I'm I'm so grateful that um, I have this community here. There are also a lot of um, local communities here, um, depending on your nationality. And um, it's just fun to study um, and not to feel um, homesick while you're studying. And I'll maybe I'll end with this slide for who love running. So here's a photo of the uh, during the 20, uh, Hong Kong Marathon, the 2019 Hong Kong Marathon before the pandemic started. So usually there's a group of um, HKUST runners um, running every um, every year for the Hong Kong Marathon. Uh, but um, so um, maybe my cool PhD journey, I would describe it to be something like running a marathon because um, you have to train for it. So you have your your um, BS or uh, MPhil. A bachelor's or MPhil degree to prepare you for this um, postgraduate journey and um, because it's a long journey you have to stay focused and you have to pace yourself okay so that you don't get burned out but it will um, stretch uh, your discipline and your endurance and your time management skills so have a great day or night goodbye <laughs>